Welcome to the Empire of this Rampage, and welcome back to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting today as the Teutonic Order for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 mod for Attila Total War, where I think this is going to be fun. We just finished a massive-ass campaign as Rome, which uh, is now going to be a nice refresher for something smaller, which is going to be great. So we're going to be playing as the Teutonic Order. Make sure, you guys, if you're enjoying this uh, video, feel free to let me know like any thoughts you have on the campaign down in the comments. Give sacrifices to the stupid fucking algorithm. And l just make sure to support the video if you're really enjoying it. But we're going to be getting into this right now. We're the Bolt Crusaders. We have access to unique military order building chains. We have reduced recruitment cost to upkeep for uh, local units of the area. Um, we also have more income from naval commerce. I never really used naval commerce in my last one. It was mainly uh, cultural we used a lot. So I might be able to try to focus on that more. And then we have, uh, we're going to have increased public order penalties due to the presence of other religions. That's going to suck ass. Um, that's going to be fun. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, oh, not challenges. I don't want to look at challenges. No, I don't want to, eh, that's the wrong thing. Shit. <laughs> Starting to look at, um, Victory conditions. So the Teutonic Order does have victory conditions. Uh, we are going to be going with, uh, I would say, more of the... I'm not opposed to the Divine Triumph, but I'm kind of mainly going to be leaning towards the normal military victory. Uh, essentially, we need to control... Basically, we need to kind of control like a bunch of Russia, essentially. So I'm not opposed to that. We'll basically be kind of going on uh, the military victory path for initially. We'll see if we kind of want to lean more towards Divine Triumph. We'll kind of see how you guys are feeling about this campaign. But initially, this is what we're going to be having our goals for for right now. Um, I think it's going to be interesting because we start with one fucking region. <laughs> and uh, we are going to be the ones that have to deal with the Mongols. Um, I know I kind of avoided them in my uh, Roman Empire campaign, uh, Nicene, whatever you want to refer to it as, um, by just paying them off. And uh, technically, we could kind of go about the same thing with this. Uh, I know if we can get our armies really going ham, get our uh, quality up really high, I feel like this campaign, I'm going to focus a lot more on my military infrastructure um, way sooner than I did in my Roman campaign. As seen as how we definitely need to make sure we can get our good units so we can make the most out of each unit. Um, we are going to have to be able to try and get to conversion as quickly as possible with some areas due to the fact that we are going to have that issue with uh, conversion um, and religious unrest of other cultures. That's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun to deal with because it was already a pain in the ass to deal with as uh, Rome, as a Byzantine Empire. And uh, we need to try and get priests as soon as we can. As soon as we can get priests, I'm gladly going to be able to try. I'm going to gladly want to try and do that. So if I can, I need to recruit one as soon as possible. I will. That will help out a lot with public order and with conversion. Honestly, my agents in general, uh, I do need to try and grab some of them as soon as I'm able to. I just know we're going to be limited by our building chains on uh, where we get those guys. I think technically also there's going to be the issue that I think my military order building is a religious building. And so that's going to be taking the place of what would normally give me a priest. That's going to make it fun. So let's see. So now we're loaded on in. Um, I did turn off my mod that made it so we had 12 turns per year. So the events will line back up. Our uh, The weather will not. <laughs> so it's it's a trade-off. But we're going to try and have it so we have the events lining up more so instead. So mod credits to the developers here just in case you guys are unaware of them i want to give them credit as credit is due because i do most certainly enjoy this mod i have a lot of fun with it so what we're gonna do is let's see okay so as a catholic faction i must play a precarious game of managing the opinion of the clergy at the helm of the clergy lies the pope spring pool of the catholic uh peace in the pope may give us the best interest and peace in can be dire consequences which is not great so more weariness. We need to make sure we don't get our ass kicked continuously. Otherwise, war weariness is going to go up quite a lot. Uh, it is really good to be able to, like, somewhat bully other factions, though, because of war weariness. I can use that to my advantage sometimes if I can blitz factions quickly enough. So, initially, we don't start off with anybody, actually. Um, I currently have some trade going on with uh, the Duchy of Pomerania, and we also have um, some trade going on with the Kingdom of Denmark at the moment. People that don't like me um, or not, or very few actually. Sweden is also trading with me as well, so we have quite a bit of trade with you guys. I'm not opposed to kind of allowing you guys to stay alive and keep working with you. I would love to be able to try and get like proper like alliances with you. Are you all vassalized of? No, no, it's just just pa Pomerania is vassalized under Denmark. Okay, so besides that, the two areas we currently border uh, would be the uh, Jutvid. Oh my God, 
Jutvingians, Jutvingians, and then Lithuania. Lithuania is technically a little stronger. One of these two, um, they are also allied with each other. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight one of those. Otherwise... Man, it's gonna be fun. Okay. So for right now, I have nothing for buildings. Uh, I have, like, no growth. I have barely any money. Um, I know I'm definitely gonna want to be able to upgrade. Let's see. So, my castle is usually the best way to get troops. Provides garrison, provides recruitment. Uh, Livonian crossbow. I think it's level 3 is what gives us the... Let's see, this one gives... Oh, it doesn't improve. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the window. Oh, this is a settlement. Oh, this is a settlement one right here. So this is a settlement here. This is the Citadel. Oh, we have a third version, too. Because uh, when I was playing as Rome, we only had two. So we have a Ducal Capital. It's almost kind of like... So... The second one... Yeah. This one does give me access to new units. Gives access to Setzen uh, Brudern. And then, let's see... Uh, Richard Bruder, Schwitter Bruder. I'm gonna butcher these fucking names. If anybody has suggestions on how to improve my uh, German pronunciation, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I love uh, trying to get better at pronouncing things. So we can at least get to the second level of stuff. I'm debating if I want to keep this as it is. We have better walls here. This does give me religious influence though, as the city. So that's the main difference, and it gives me research rate faction wide. So it's not a bad thing for me to get some of these early on, just to try and help us out with uh, research. Um, we currently have a trading dock. I do... We get more money from maritime commerce. I want to actually try and build trading docks. Most of the time, I always built a fishing wharf immediately in every city that I was playing as in Rome. I want to try and tr do the trading docks more this time. Um, pigsty, I'm Definitely going to want to retrain, uh, switch that. And what is our um, fertility around here? So, the fertility in this region... Is that poor or average? That is poor. So it's got a base, base fertility of 2. Fertility of 3 over there. So it's not the worst up here. We will get benefits from other things. Um, right now, this gives me... So, 70 food. This will only give me 60. Okay, so it is better. Cattle herd. Okay, so up here... We're actually going to avoid the wheat fields. Weed fields are not going to be beneficial up here in the poor region. So we'll want to get the pigsty, and then probably also when we get a second one eventually, we'll get a cattle herd. Um, we then have my Teutonic Order Priory. Does this allow me to recruit agents? Eventually does it. No. Yeah, that's what I mean. So... Okay, so we still have the one that does give uh, wine, which would be really good for trade. And this one allows me to get the priest. Okay, so I'll have to get one of you at some point. Uh, for right now, I do need to have it so we keep this. Getting access to those better units also gives me more public order, more punishment, and more growth. Military order, unit cap, and religious influence. So that is good. We might just eventually just build, like, two of these. What's the main difference between these two? This one just doesn't... Okay, has less... Less influence. No, it has the same influence. So they both have the public order. Both have the public order. This one doesn't give the growth. This one doesn't give the growth. And this unlocks different cab units. Is it the same cab units? No, it's the same cab units. This one unlocks, unlocks more units. Okay. Uh, but no, we'll keep it as it is. I don't. I can't literally build anything right now. Um... Do I have enough? Uh, do I have a governor slot? I do have a governor slot. So, man, my uh, my faction's so small right now. It feels so weird. Okay, so who do we want to get as a governor? You've got Taskmaster, Defender, and Taskmaster. Uh, we don't be uh, I don't think you'll be bad. Having a Defender as my governor for an area would not be bad. Let's put you in Livona. We need... Oh, your loyalty shit. Um, let's get the... We need growth. We need growth. Income from commerce, that'll be really nice for us as well. But growth around here, that's top priority. We need to grow this region as quickly as possible. And right now, it's a positive... It's a, It's not growing at all right now. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, but with him there, it will grow, start growing. Uh, if I... This doesn't give growth, does it? It does not. Okay, so the only way you'll be growing is with that lord and that noble. Okay. Technology! 
Okay, so I know what I need to do. So for right now, I do need more growth, honestly. State religious bonus, that's not bad. So again, I know I want to be able to upgrade and focus on my military more. But I do think we'll need to get some stuff initially over down here. Um, getting the... I think we should get the growth. It's either the growth or religious state influence. Um, I think growth. The area is pretty small around here right now. So we need to be able to grow this area, get it, uh, have a little bit more so that we can actually have more around here. Um, I will recruit some stuff. Um, I am already at my capacity for these units, am I? God, we have like no population around here too. Oh god. Well, I'm not at war for right now, so I do have time. I can try. I could take some time out of these two. Yeah, you've got a bonus fence cav. You've got good armor. Yeah, you guys have way more armor. I'd rather use you guys than this unit, but these guys are faster. Missile block chance. Yeah, the main difference is the charge bonus. You guys have a way better charge bonus. I feel like we're going to get the uh, so it's 13, 13, uh, Schwitzebrüde? Schwitzebrüde? Um, we don't make a lot of money. I don't have, I don't have access to skirmishes around here right now. I don't have enough money. I might save up for this. Because, let's see, that costs, let's see, we have 40 food. That costs 30 food. So we have enough food for that. That will get me... Um, a little bit more money, a little bit more research, a little bit more growth, public order, road development, and then tax rates reduced. Does unlock the Livonian Order Crossbowman. I think I might grab that. Don't need to be... I might grab that just so we have better defenses. It has more catapults. Has a better garrison. Because I, for right now, I don't know if I could take both these factions on at once. I don't believe so. Um, so I think we'll basically be sitting around here. We're going to be kind of playing the long con. Uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe get any sort of non-aggression packs around here with you guys. Nope. What about with Denmark? I want to see if I don't have to pay you guys. Paying you 400 for a non-aggression pack? That's fine. I will accept that. I want to try and foster good relations with you guys up around here. Because I want to try and have it so that basically... So, no, but that, that's about it. Is there anybody else that wants to maybe trade with me? Because, again, um, I want to have it so that we can get some long-term trade partners. I so, would you, you like some trade? No. Um, would Pisa I like welcome some you trade? On behalf of no. The people. Um, God, I'm so used to people just wanting to trade with me for, for fucking everything. Part, no. Welcome. Oh, you've got a lot, though. Um, part, offer you a bit of money. And give me your wisdom. Mm. Nah, that's too, that's too much. Okay, I think we'll just do that for right now. I have at least improved my rations a little bit with Denmark. I think we're going to have it so that basically I need to sit here for probably two turns to try and upgrade this, or at least start it. Then I want to try and have it so that we'll start getting some troops after that. Um, I just don't make a ton of money. Uh, if anything at all, the, the longer I can keep these trade deals going, the better. That will allow me to slowly get more money from that. Um, I'm unable to upgrade anything else, and I know at least next turn, this will kick in, I'll have more growth, we'll have some more income from... Because I have Adamal Husbandry here, so I'll make money for more from this, and we'll make more money from this. And then, yeah, that's a 20% boost on both of those. So now it's the winter, even a better reason why to try to stay around here. Why are you guys pissed off right now? See, so, religious differences, it's a big, huge chunk of that. Oh, that's another reason why we're going to want to sit around here anyways, is like, oh man, my, my religion's really bad right now. So it's going up 3% uh, per turn right now. So, that's not bad. So, local traditions is six. Regional developments. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Well, that will this will benefit us for right now. Yeah, the, the state influence reduction will be beneficial initially, actually, to get that reduced. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got that. Also, I do know... Hey, Pope! Mr. Pope! Uh, I need three papal favor. And my papal favor is not... The th what, is, what is my papal favor at the moment? Can I tell? Where, where can I tell what my papal favor is? How do I how do I determine this information? I want to know how much can I ask uh, Mr. Pope Daddy to give me money. <laughs> um, Let's see. So war wariness. Oh, papal standing five. So I have good uh, standing with the Pope. 
Okay, so if we get it to above seven, I can ask for cash. I'm going to be a spamming the shit out of that. I need money. I need money so badly right now. So we'll definitely be trying to do that. Also, uh, I need to find a wife. So for initially right now, the stuff we're going to be doing initially is going to be just trying to get... Oh, actually, hold off on that for right now. Uh, this guy is already pity pissed off. I'm going to have you actually secure loyalty for right now. So I want you to get a wife, but I think we should try and secure loyalty. This will cost 25. So try and secure that man's loyalty. Um, we're going to need to have him like me initially. Um, I could also try and give you... Let's see, so govern province. Yes. So I'm going to put you there. I'm going to try and promote you. you. Come on, man. Widow, I need you. We need everybody to work together. So I'm going to first try and promote you, and then I'm going to try and get a wife. And hopefully, we're going to be possibly having to do a lot more initially with the diplomatic aspect and the political aspect of this campaign. Because I cannot risk losing my one city. And at least the area around here is now growing. Right now, let's see. War declared between the Holy Roman Empire and Sicily. Interesting. And then, okay, so you have now been appointed in that. Did you get the loyalty secured? Um... Did you not do that? Oh, you didn't try and secure loyalty. Okay, try and secure loyalty around that guy. Please do that. So, try and secure the loyalty with him. And then, I, I know we're still going to be trying to sit here for a little bit. I really want to try and see... I do appreciate how they have, like, just passive uh, influence because of these buildings. So, we're going to start trying to build this up. Um, now... I will start trying to recruit some more stuff. So when I have the cash, we'll start trying to get some more men. Basically, I want to try and get this before we really try and push out because I want to be able to have access to crossbows and I can't recruit any crossbowmen because getting more of these guys would not be bad initially. Um, basically, we're going to want to make sure we get probably a couple more infantry units, a couple more cav units. And ideally, I need to see if you guys like start fighting other people and like weaken yourselves or if you guys would break your alliances. I would love you to break your alliances. Currently, yeah, you're trading with people that I'm trading with. Lithuania. I, I feel like we're probably going to go towards Lithuania out of the two. That's a military ally. I might be able to convince you to well, break that. Sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement as you wish of them. Let's see, that's a low. I'm just curious. I'm just curious if I can even move it at all if I try and offer money. So, no. We'll continue trying to see what we can do for that for right now. Because I don't want to have it so... Uh, honestly, um, I think... I am going to try and incite a rebellion so I can crush it. So that way we're going to be able to get some sort of fight around here. And I can maybe get some experience and at least uh, get some more experience for my general. Because for right now, this area is going to be pissed off for quite a bit until we convert it more. So in the meantime, let's just try and instigate a, a, a fight. While I'm going to be continuing to try and recruit more troops around here. And that will at least mean... It's a, tra it's a training exercise for my guys. Awesome. <laughs> Never mind. We don't have to be the aggressors. They're going to be attacking me. So now... I need to defend Riga. I have one city. Let me hope that I don't lose this campaign instantly. Please, no. So, we're going to ignore the training exercise idea now. Um, and instead... We're going to be... Oh, especially now that because it's the winter. So, go back into the city. And... We're going to try and get some more men. I do not have a lot of population around here. Let's see. So, you are... You a spearman? You do not have bonus versus calves. So you are not... So, you are a basic infantry. This is a shock unit. Okay. Right now, I've got 2,100. I'm going to start trying to get two of you guys... Mercenaries, there's none at the moment. Let's see. So, Riga. So, we've got some urban migration. Growth 10 plus 10 in all provinces. Oh, hell yeah. That's beautiful. we got some refugees there. Um, balance of power. Unforeseen consequences. <laughs> Dude. Your loyalty went up a little bit. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to now try and get a wife. We're going to try and do that first. Um, we're doing okay in the middle ground, at least there. And then... Lithuania is now at war with me. And then you guys... Yeah, you guys did join on in. At least it's winter right now. We're just going to keep trying to stay around here and defend ourselves against their forces. We're going to have to basically have it so we go on a counterattack against whoever advances up this way. Is ever going to tell me when my people standing goes up? At the moment, it's still five. I need money. Yeah, because at the moment, I still don't see any armies making their way forward for right now. So we have time. I have time to keep trying to improve my military. And at least with that growth, uh, that means I need to still get to plus seven. That's painful. Um, 
That helps us, but not a ton. Um, so we'll keep trying to recruit whenever we can. Let's see, I have up to just two slots. So I'll save my money, and I'll only recruit when I have to. So we can't do anything else right now. Uh, rejection. God damn. I can't even do that mission right now. God, not only is my guy failing to get loyalty up, he's also failing to find a wife. God damn, man, I'm sorry. I didn't need you to be just like me. So let's have you kind of just keep... But again, try again. We need to get you a wife, because that will give you some decent bonuses. And in the meantime, like, hey, public order-wise, at least this is starting to improve. The of those differences is it's lower at this point in time. And at least for right now, we've got more growth. Like, I'm just glad that we're getting more time to try and let the population grow, because it's just really low. All right, let's see. So, papal... Okay, it did increase. So... Uh, you've completed the holiness by completing his task. Um, I didn't construct a building under religion. Okay. Uh, some more refraction. Okay, so that's good. Public order is now going up around here. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, and then... Illid what? Dude! Dude, come down... Trying to find you a proper wife, and you immediately... Okay, you, okay, okay, I'm understanding why now. You got rejected again. Dude, just please, for the love of God. Uh, you increased the rank at least. So there goes my... Uh, my um, governor is going to be a little bit better. That's good, because that does mean then we're going to be able to have some better upgrades for him. So, uh, let's see. I'm not trying to your thing. So, I'm always going to upgrade my... Uh, uh, my governor's the same. So, we want to get more authority... Because that gives more public order for the governed province. And then we're going to want to go down get one zeal. Get this for more public order in the area. Then we want to get cunning. Then we can increase the tax rate and also reduce uh, construction costs. And then basically we just fill up a bunch of points to be able to get to uh, legend at some point. So that's all that really matters. Now my guy, please stop fucking failing and find a wife. Please. Ready for now. Orders. I still don't see any enemy armies. Still at the moment, nothing. I think they just have their armies sitting in their fucking cities. I don't have any agents right now. I can't recruit any agents, so we're not gonna be able to try and test anything like that. Um, we're wait. Uh, we're basically getting one growth per turn, which is good. So hopefully we'll be able to get this soon. Um, I would probably say. I need agents. So I'm not opposed to just building the tavern quickly so I can get a spy. Um, and then where's the assassin again? Or is it a different one for you guys? Assassins and spies, yeah. So I'm not opposed to trying to have it so we, once we get that growth building. Um, we can grab a tavern for a time. Oh, but it doesn't increase uh, income from commerce buildings. I might actually want to build more of these for once. I usually don't. But the increase from commercial... I'm going to actually have it so we're going to focus on trade a lot. So getting that would not be bad. Otherwise, I would like to have... Um, is it the baker? No, that just gives us more sanitation and public order. Also gives us income from industry. Interesting. Gives us wealth from agriculture as well. As I know, Ducal Estate is something we're definitely going to want. Merchant's Court is in some areas. I'm always going to want a cork to reduce corruption. Um, printing House, I'm always going to want more state religion. Um, I will want to get a university at some point, but I'll basically like, then replace all those. This reduces construction costs and reduces maintenance costs in some areas. But yeah, no, we're, we're probably going to have it so like the first building we'll get will be a tavern, so that way I can get an assassin and a spy. And then we'd probably switch it to a different building. Probably it would be... We need food. So we'd probably just switch to you. Because they have sanitation, public order, and money. So that'll probably be the best way to kind of go about that, I think, for right now. Building-wise, recruitment-wise, though. Um, I can get some more guys now. I mean, then we have just enough for the auxiliary crossbow. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I do want to get some more of you guys. So let's grab some of you. We're going to want to definitely emphasize on Cav. Because uh, that's a real strong point of ours. That's... See, they have a 366... So that's 700 gold. Fuck. My army's going to be so tiny. I make, like, no fucking money. Okay, I see movement. It is one dude. But it's something. I did finally get a marriage for my character. Uh, and there's going to be another crusade. I want to join that, but I'm not going to be able to join that. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck you. That's some of my trade gone, you fucks. Oh, my God. How fucking... <sighs> 
Okay, well, if anything at all, they're actually not, that's not the worst. Because if you guys ever move that army out of there, I could try and sail into the port and take the city. Uh, for right now, though, we'll keep trying to get more money around here. Keep getting more troops. I'm waiting to see if they're going to do some sort of attack against us, and then I can counterattack. But for right now, we have to be defensive. They're raiding me, so I'm losing money. <sighs> Spread the, my religion to Riga. Yep, we're trying to do that. It's almost to the... Uh, almost up. It will start improving faster here. <sighs> but yeah, you guys are raiding me, so that's why I'm losing money right now, because of you. You guys are kind of advancing forward. I am barely losing money. My garrison... I will have you join on in as well. We've got a good force for defenses. And we have one turn. So I think... Before they'd even attack, I'm going to get the defenses built up. Fuck. Um, can I get trade with anybody else? Why did you assholes have to join on in? War with the Dutch Department. Yeah, because you attacked me. Let's see, run the liable, aggressive, progressive, opportunistic, culturally intolerant. Yeah, that makes fucking sense. Um, Sicily, please. The state, trade. No, no. Um, can I please get some trade with somebody? Welcome, worthy guest. No. I... <sighs> Damn it. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to see how it goes. Because at least I'm gonna have, I have these cab units now. I'm not losing too much money, and I know it's because of the rating. And as soon as this finishes up, I think I'll be fine on my income. I'll, I'll be in the positive again, just barely. They took attrition because of the winter. Which is good for us. I'm not making any more money. I did just... Okay, defenses were finished up. I, I'm happy about that. Um, these guys cost 200. I wish I could get one right now, but I cannot. Mercenaries, there's nothing. Is they're going to reinforce too? So I have to wait for them to attack me. Oh god, I don't like this. At least I'm getting some more like conversions doing better now. Yeah, it's still a little low, but still it's it's improving. It's improving there, and oh my god, I, I might <laughs> but I hope I don't lose We have to wait for you guys to attack me. Um I don't think I can ask for money from the Pope yet, because again it needs to get up to seven. And I get five thousand from that. Um I just have to keep holding off and to keep doing what I can. Come on, guys. Come at me. Come attack the city, please. Just assault the city. I think we should be good because, let's see, we have got, again, we have basic walls. We have catapults. And I've got a decent garrison. And I have two generals bodyguards. Like, the garrison's even bigger now, too. So, like, I, if they attack, we have a pretty good chance. Otherwise, I need, like, one of the armies to back off. Ideally, you. If you back off, I can defeat this army... If they're in range of you. I've got 12 units. Even just against their 15, I think we might be able to do that, depending on what that army is. So they're both fortifying. I wish you guys would be taking attrition there. I did just increase rank myself. Um, experience for a unit was recruited. None of these would actually benefit me a ton in battle immediately. Well, okay, no, the zeal would, because I know eventually I'm going to want to get down to here. Camping movement range and movement uh, for that. Um, it's getting one more authority. It's, not, it's going to give you more morale. I'll grab that. Recruitment cost for non-mercenaries. That's not bad. And it will help for when we start recruiting more. Public order is going up. Yeah, Pope's been elected. Denmark and the Roman Empire at war. You guys are at war with each other. I'm about to finish some of my research. Which will give me more growth. Um, I will then probably have it so... Tower damage. I'm not opposed to trying to do this. Research next. Gain some more tower damage would not be bad, especially since I know I need to be on the defensive for a Ready bit. For like, once this area grows... Oh, it's not growing nearly as fast. Um, Trouble populace. Oh, the growth. That's why the growth is so bad. Yeah, once we get this into the positive, we'll be growing a lot faster. Oh, Here's the crusade. When it is Christendom itself, I wish it would help me. As I'm just standing Christian's here waiting for three fucking armies to kill me. His Holiness the Pope oh has God! I hope we get all of that. To reclaim the Holy Lands from the if we survive the siege, that's all I need. Because right if I can do some sort of good counterattack after that, that'd be great. Because like, if I can get some more money, I'll at least keep trying to like funnel that into myself to build up my my camp, my faction a bit more. Cross, and give back I, hate, I wish I was making a little bit more. Money right now. Right I just barely make as much as I have right now. 
Like, I can punch above my weight probably with the cab I've got. But I can't join that crusade. I wish I could. Safe development. So we finished that. Peace negotiated. I can try and see if I can convince any of you for peace. You I can't offer money. But it's worth a shot to just keep checking that every once in a while. Because where war weariness might go up. You guys I don't mind fighting technically, because if oh actually Welcome, but expect still low. scant pleasantry. Cause like you guys are the ones that attacked me, you assholes. It is going down though. The war with Duchy of Pomerania is going down. So I might be able to get you guys to stop. So that way it's at least reduced down by one faction that I'm fighting, but oh god. At least my income is going up a slight amount. Uh, I would say so for right now. More grain produced. Catholic Monastery. I think we should get the state religion or we should start getting the tower damage. New siege engines. Can range. I think tower. No, we need that conversion. Get the conversion first. It also takes us time. Then we can try and get the tower damage stuff after that. Although, before I forget, I am going to, for fucking once, embezzle money. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this. I've actually got, like, a decent amount of influence. I make a decent amount from, like, my wife also increases my personal influence earning by three, which is pretty good. So, I'm gonna try and embezzle some funds, because I need fucking money. Yeah, if you guys are... Oh, only... Oh, yay! I embezzled 200 gold! Oh, my God. I was hoping for more. Oh, God. Yeah, if you guys are attacking me, it's probably going to be maybe this next turn. You're going to take some attrition because of the winter, at least, though. And my income is going up every turn. Just a slight amount. It went up by two last turn, uh, between this turn and last turn. That's probably because of my long-term... Yeah, long-term trade partnerships are going up with you guys. I would hope that... Please don't have it deteriorate. I don't want this war. I didn't start this war. They started it with Speak me. I'll try and keep offering that, because I don't want to fight you guys right now. With Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, just, 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 just kick me while I'm down, Sicily. Just kick me while I'm down. Oh my god, why are you declaring war on me? Are they going to siege me or are they just going to sit there? If they're going to sit there, I'm going to take my time to slowly try and build stuff up. I just don't know why everybody fucking hates the Teutonic Order. Like, I'm just sitting here. I've, literally, I've done nothing but sit here, do some recruitment, develop the region. That's all I've done. Yep, I've uh, given people jobs. And, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's just three armies there. My war weariness has increased. Why? I... Oh, God. I have done nothing. You guys... Oh, you're at war with each other now. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I can't... Why, why do you want me to fight you? Please go away. Speak your speech. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Speak if you must. Oh, my God. That's your command. You guys are reinforcing each other. It's okay. If this army wasn't here, or if this army wasn't here, God damn, I just don't. I don't have the men. And if, even if I try to attack one of these armies, my reinforcements from the city. I need the reinforcements from my cities to be able to fight all this crap. Okay, one army backed off. So. I can convince you guys to give me a ceasefire. I might have to actually pay you money. I'm going to try that. I would then just be at war with just uh, Lithuania. Still low with that amount of money. So I cannot convince you. That is improving. So maybe... War is just at 2% right now. I just don't like how much that uh, damages my morale. Because, again, at least my, con my, my my trade is improving every turn because of the long-term partnerships. So as long as I can keep those trade deals I have right now, if just one of you... Well, no, let's see, on, no, this guy's still in range. This guy is still in range. I need, like, one of these armies to go away, or I need them to attack me. We Honestly, if anything... <laughs> I am Mongols. I am hoping that somebody will attack either one of you guys, and I'll pull your forces back. Because that's what happened with you guys. And they're still in position where I can't really do anything to stop them. Uh, and go on the offensive right now. Because, like, yeah, you're reinforcing either of these guys. I will keep trying every turn to see if I can get a ceasefire with you guys. In the name of the Try it. Again, I'll check every once in a while if I also give money, if that would be enough. Nope, still not. And then, let's see, I need to just every once in a while... Oh, no, my leadership's down again here. It's like three. Why is it so low? It's because you have more influence than the ruler. 
I wish I could have you embezzle funds. Um, I could have my wife. She can't do it right now. She almost has enough. Because I can try and have her be the one that actually does secure loyalty on him. So I don't have to. And I don't have to reduce my amount of uh, influence points. Okay, so we got another mission here from the Pope. Let's see, did finish our previous one. Um, spread our religion to be the majority. It technically already has been. We just succeeded that one. That's good. Um, we've been loyalty. God damn it, dude. You're even lower than two. Technically right now I could try and secure loyalty. But I know there might be complications, so I think I'm going to hold off for right now. Um, I think at the moment I will hold off, because I need to try and have it so that I don't... I, I, I'm really having to do a delicate balancing act right now with my Dominion in control. He's at two right now. If he has a civil war, what the fuck is going to happen when we have one region, if anything, I guess? Oh, I guess. So one idea I think I'm going to be doing once my uh, son comes of age, I'll probably have him uh, be the... Ooh, Sassy Full character. I just don't have assassins yet. Uh, this area is still growing, slowly. But I was trying to say, it's like, once my son comes of age, who's currently 14, I can have him take over the governance spot that you have, and then I'm going to make you into a general, and I'm going to have you be the sacrificial lamb. I want to try and see if I have you sit out the side of the city, if they'll attack you, and maybe that would be a way to lure one of these armies in and fight them. Because at the moment right now, they're just still just sitting here. And I have to do something eventually. I can't just sit here forever. Like, my economy is slowly improving. Slowly. But it's not exciting to just watch me sit here, slowly build out my troops, and then do a massive counterattack later. Riga speaking in tongues. Let's see, got a miracle. Some more Pope Order around there. That's not bad. Mm, he's still a two. I know, I know, I know, man. Please just stop. I wish, let's see, because I can't get, it has to be more than seven, and I can ask for money. Because I want to, honestly, I wish I could just recruit a little bit more and then just do a counterattack. Because, like, again, you just aren't in range of the city. They're just barely out of the range of the city, so I can't get my reinforcements out here. I could, well, actually, I do have an idea. Oh, this is risky, but fuck it. We need something to happen. I'm going to try and sit like this. So I'm still in range, I'm in the port, I can still disembark my troops to help out with the siege if they attack me, but I need them to stop just fucking sitting there. That right there might have actually been exactly what I needed. They pulled one of the fuckers back. So now, if I'm going to attack either of these armies, you are the weaker army out of the two. You were the smaller one. I'm going to disembark. Are there mercenaries? There is a mercenary cav unit. I don't have a lot of infantry. I have a lot of cav. I think I'm going to grab you. I'm going to have you temporarily. And we're going to go on the offensive here. I need to kill one of these armies. I have to do something. I cannot just sit here. They only have two skirmishers. I don't like how yeah, insufficient manpower, so we don't have replenishment in this area. Number wise, is only a 300 man difference. If I can get them out of their... Because the, the issue is, is they're in their fort. If I can get them out of it, I can do some damage here. So I need to take out one of these armies. If I can take out one of these armies, that is something. I'm not gonna I don't want to just fucking sit here with the Teutonic Order. We need to be aggressive in some regard. Because this army here. It's nothing too crazy. It's just the issue of the fact they are fortified right now. I'm gonna hope that this works. As I've got good cab units. I have more cabs than them, just barely. And they have the same amount of skirmishers. If I get my cat into melee with their skirmishers, I win in that fight. Because what I need to do is first, we need to get rid of this ring. Because what we want to try and do is if I can, I, if I can get good maneuvers with my cavalry, I can do this. Um, what we're going to do is I need to take my cavalry. I'm going to bring you guys back around here. And I'm going to need to have it so that basically my infantry, you guys are going to be making your way forward. Uh, you guys do have a shield wall formation. So I'll put you guys in that first and have you guys kind of move up with the rest of my army. So I'll have you guys go there and there. And then I do want to showcase my units. Now this is the first battle we're doing after like fucking three units in. So these are my basic crossbows we've got here. Then we also have my uh, infantry units. Very basic infantry. Hope you guys will hold well. I do think I'm going to basically have to ignore their uh, towers. I don't think I'm going to have to have time to just try and destroy them. We have to hit them hard and fast. So what we're going to do is let's first listen to my lord's speech. Let's see what he has to say about this fight. Stand two, lads. Stand two. This is the 
last struggle for many of us. But we will do our utmost here to make sure it is not the last moment of our people. We Can't must stop die, please. Their shields, their protectors. We have to win this fight. The Lord be with us. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, you guys just kind of stay there for right now. Uh, these forces here move forward. The enemy has been spotted. As we're gonna try and have it. So yeah, you guys are supposed to be moving forward with shield wall. Uh, you guys need to not run forward uh, because I want to have them soak up damage with their shot uh, with their um, shields. And then basically, what we'll do is I will have you two kind of go around over here. I'll then have these two over here. And then I'll have you guys kind of around here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we can engage them and get them set up to be focusing on my forces, if possible. And then we want to have it so that we can have my cab flank. If I can get good charges with my cab, I can do this. Because that's the main point for us right now here. Because you guys are making your way up here with my infantry. Crossbows are taking a little bit of damage. Ideally, we'll be able to have it so we take advantage of my skirmishers the best we can. So they're going to try and adjust their skirmishers. They're not over here at the moment, so I can use my skirmishers to their full advantage. So you guys just keep trying to just keep pushing forward towards the spot. Crossbows, focus the cab. If we can get the cab advantage on our side, I will be able to do some pretty good damage here. So let's get you guys forward. Try and do what you can. I'd love to try and snipe the drone's body break, because the bounce power is not that bad. It's pretty even. Most of their cast skirmishers are still over here. I do see. See this one skirmisher here is trying to move forward. If he's going to move forward, I'm going to try and have it so I can hit him. So you guys get kind of go back around over here. Don't see anything else right now for at the moment. Crossbows. I can have you guys try and hit the Polish Knights. The cab over here is going to be a bit of an issue. But yeah, let's have you. Let's see if I can get you maybe over here to hit the mounted crossbow. We want to focus all of our attention on one side for the most part, but then just kind of like flank what we can. So you guys try and fire. It's trying to weaken their cro their cab here. Because if we can take these guys out, that is a pretty good unit. And then the infantry we don't have to worry about as long as I can maneuver around them. If they're just running back and forth right now, I do see this, this unit seems to be vulnerable. I kind of want to try and focus you down if I possibly can. Okay, here they come. They're now engaging us over here. So crossbows, yeah, keep trying to focus on uh, probably maybe these guys back here. These guys are in melee. Uh, I am going to start having it so that more of my cav get up here. This as well. Try and come in around this angle and try and see if you can hit these mounted crossbowmen of my cav. Come around this way as well here. Infantry is taking some damage. So I want to try and get my cav around here. Try and have them help flank this spot. So you try and go in after this guy. Go, 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 go. And then basically my general's here to try and Counterattack anybody that tries to go after these guys here. So you go after the Mantis Crossbows. You go over here as well. We need to try and flank this. You guys are losing right now against us. My men are holding well. We need to push on in here. Number wise, we lost 30 guys. They've lost about 70. That's off to a good start. Yeah, this crossbow unit is breaking. Let's see. I'll bring you guys in here. So it's now that one's shattered. Let's try it here. And here. Ignore that spearman for right now. Let's try and charge on in there. I'm gonna have you go here. You go over here. Because I can have you sit here for just a second. But yeah, charge on in there. Yeah, there you go. We just ignore this spearman for right now until he really decides to try trying to focus on this. Crossbows are not doing anything. Okay, crossbows, I'm gonna get you guys to move up a little bit. I want you to pick a new target. Yeah, try to take this tower out. Most of these guys are breaking. Good, good. These cab units get closer, because these archers are starting to fire, so we're going to now start trying to focus on them. So go here, and here, my general will go for the mounted crossbow. So right there and there. Okay, you'll sit here for a second. I'm going to try and shadow these guys. There we go. So now let's try and hit the levy spearman, who's kind of flanking my guys here. Infantry. I want to make sure these guys shatter, please, if you can. You guys are just going to keep running in there. Get the cap shatter that infantry unit. There we go. Got 200 casualties now. All these cab units. Yeah, break this unit. Break that spearman. Shatter him. Run him down. That is a huge bonus right now. Now we almost outnumber them. Yeah, crossbows, if you can. Uh, you can't shit the two to the general's bodyguard just yet. That's okay. See the general's bodyguard's coming in. Okay, you guys focus on this guy here for right now. Their general's bodyguard is coming in to fight us. Gonna bring you in here to help as well. Okay, cav. 
you guys uh, focus on these guys for right now. Try and get back through here. Focus on this breaking this unit. Now the crossbows are dead. They're breaking. I'm gonna shadow them. They're archers I haven't been able to affect just yet. That's what I want you guys to do. Is that guy shattered yet? Almost. Once he's shattered, there we go. Now let's go over here. Let's go try and get rid of their archers now. Because the infantry, we don't care about. Infantry is really easy to deal with with my cab as long as I can just keep outmaneuvering him. This crossbows, you can keep firing now. But yeah, let's pull my cab back over here. My cavalry back up. And I want to have it so that for right now. Ignore those guys. Ignore him. I don't care about you. I will move you guys up a little bit though. Crossbows. Try and shoot that spearman there. These two go over here. You two go over here. You guys can focus on the Axeman. You three, I think, will be fine fighting the Axeman. Those guys. For that guy. Ignore all of you. Take out the crossbow. Uh, take out their skirmishers. We now outnumber them. Let's see. You guys now. Let's now start trying to get you to take towers. Crossbows. Yeah, you're almost done with that unit. Their Jones bodyguard is fighting here. So as soon as the archers are dead here, I'm pulling away and I'm going to go focus their Jones bodyguard. And I'm kind of hoping that either I'm going to be able to convince them to give me a ceasefire after this, or I need land. I would love to be able to go after their one city so that you guys pull back here. Don't fight these spearmen. You two go immediately for that Jones bodyguard. Over there, keep running away. Because This is why, again, I focus so much on Cav in my first initial army. I can do a lot with Cav as long as I get to use them. So, like, you guys go there. Crossplay, yeah, you're done with them. Let's get you guys to run over here. Go watch that point. You guys are trying to watch this point. The General's bodyguard is now surrounded by all my cavalry. He's, he should die here. I have a rally ability, which just gives me more morale, so that's not going to be a huge thing for us to use right now. Just focus on the General. If we take him out, we win this fight. Because yeah, most of their forces are running there. So speed that up. He's almost dead. Come on. That should be this tower. Yep. So you guys keep trying to make your way up here now. Get out of shield wall formation. I want you to speed up. Make your way over here. Try and get in to flank those infantry units. Because their general's surrounded, but they now just have a lot of axemen that are trying to fight me in melee. Okay, so my infantry's almost here. Start trying to surround. It's right there. There there, and yeah, try and go there. Crossbows, uh, now let's move you up. Let's have you try and take out their other skirmishers. Infantry shattering. Good. Keep chasing them. Go, go, go. It's taking forever for you guys to kill the general's bodyguard. It is a good bodyguard, so I'm not too surprised. But no, you come over here, hit the archer sergeants. They've now at least lost their morale bonus. And take out the archers there. Archers, you're basically just going like, to kind of mop up people. So mop up anybody that's low health here. So like these guys. Infantry. Oh, come on. Their general should have died by now at this point. Okay, hit those axemen. Back up there. Shoot the axemen. You guys focus them. Cav, you're all trying to focus on his bodyguard. He's, he's at half health now. Oh my god, their general's finally broken. Okay, so he should start routing now. Now hopefully you capture him and kill him. So I ended up losing about 300 guys. But I won that fight. Yeah, enemy general's dead. Now, it's either I'll be trying to convince them to give me a ceasefire after this, or I'm going to be trying to have it so that I would love to be able to move out of the city. But that might be enough to hit the war wariness limit for Pomerania so that they'll actually give me a ceasefire. Because that's not bad. We did some good damage. Now, if I can just... I need to now deal with that Lithuanian army. They pulled, like, one force back. This did well with us because we were pretty close in numbers. Um, I'm now going to need to replenish, for sure. Uh, but hopefully this will be push you guys back. I'm going to try and see if I can offer you guys a ceasefire. But I might be able to get some money from this. Let's see. So, let's see. So I can get... Reduce my integrity or I can get replenishment. I'm probably just going to grab the replenishment. I'd like to get the money, but take the replenishment. Advance. That army's back, backing off. Man, I didn't rank up. Fuck it all. Uh, let's see. Will you guys now accept this peace treaty? It's now high. So I'm gonna demand money. Um, so I can't get a trade again. But I'm gonna try and say, hey, I'm gonna demand money. Can I get 2k from you? It's moderate. 
so I can get a little bit less than uh, 2k. Because you guys attacked me, I did not want to attack you at all. Let's try 1800. Well, let's see, so it's... Where is high? Okay, so I should be able to get 1800. There we go. <sighs> I hate you. I hate you so much. I had no reason to fight you. Whatsoever. <sighs> but now, we've at least pushed you back. So one force is now backed off. Now we can go back to Riga. We'll get some replenishment. I'm losing money. I probably should get rid of this guy again. I want to keep you, but I should get rid of you because I barely make any money as is. So we'll grab that. We've got a piece with them now. Now hopefully they'll fuck off. And then I wish... How close am I to a rank up? I am close to a rank up. But at least that did give me... That should give me some personal influence. Oh yeah, that's way better. So now I've got 29 there. Got 36. I want to hold off on trying to do secure loyalty for, with you. Um, just because I still think that's not going to be the ben most beneficial for us right now. But I think what we're going to do, once my son comes of age, I'm going to make him the governor of this region, and then I'm going to try and make you into a lord, and I'm going to try and get you killed. Because <laughs> I can just probably just spawn you out here, see if that will lure these guys into wanting to fight me. And then I want, like, please assault, try and attack this city now. Or maybe just back off now that I was able to beat that one army back. So Lithuania backed off. And now, at this point in time, they're taking more attrition back there. That's good. Um, we have a worthy bride for you. She's a... She's not the greatest. Oh, she uses your authority and you're my governor. I don't want to intervene because I don't want to use my influence. You're already pissed off that you have more influence than me. Uh, you know what? Sure. Take... T just sure. I'm going to try and get you kill anyways. Um, wait for loyalty. I know. I know. Um... Over here, though, I do now have a rank up for myself, so good. I'm going to get more campaign movement range for sure. Grab that, and then at least we're almost back to full strength once again. I almost have enough money I can get a crossbow. Um, at least another one. Because for right now, how close are we to growing this city? It's at 5. So we can almost get it to... Once it's at 7, I'll be able to grow the city once more. And again, I still think we should try and get the uh, tavern so we can get a assassin and a spy. Although the upkeep for those guys might be horrendous, so maybe I should go with something else. Are you guys just now fully out of my territory? Yep, so Lithuania has pulled back. Um, I've now encountered... Oh! Oh, you guys took them out now. Okay, so that means I will now be able to possibly now try and go more on the offensive against Lithuania specifically. Oh, that's tempting. Because I could start moving forward. I'd want to have it so we're going to be moving up in um, Fortify Stance. That way we have defenses, but I might be able to try and lure them into a fight. So we'll kind of do this. We'll kind of keep moving forward. I am going to now have you get... So... I need to get construction costs reduced. I could actually get that up, but we're not going to be able to upgrade our commercial stuff just yet uh, in my port. I think I do want to upgrade... Let's see. So Teutonic Order Fort or Military for Order Fort. What do those give? Because I could almost get that. So this one would give me... It would, it would give a better garrison, more punishment, more growth, and public order is slightly higher. It also costs 10,000. I don't have 10,000, so we don't have that. But I can at least get... Siege hold have increased, movement range. That's just for... that's for navies. Um, you just upkeep the cost of mercenaries. I think we should get better tower damage. Yeah, so we should try and get better tower damage, because that will help us out defensively. This area is doing okay, public order-wise. It's doing better. I, I can stand out of the city for right now, though. And if I could... I'd be losing a little bit of money for right now, but I think I can grab another crossbow. I can get one more crossbow. Otherwise... Yeah, I can get one crossbow. Because I, I, I almost make that amount of money per turn. Once my... Um, long-term partnership goes up with you guys more because it goes up every turn it goes up every turn with you guys for the amount of money i make with tariffs with you guys uh keep do you want to trade the name of the state welcome moderate as a friend or all righty i'm not opposed to working with you guys for right now that is also going to make it so i actually do now make enough money um so we have that and then try and trade welcome, with you guys again possibly now nah, it's low that's not going to go through Ooh, you guys want to rush back? Yes, because again, I need to keep fostering these relations over here, and the more uh, deals I can get you guys with uh, you guys, the better. Although when he is still pulling back, good. That's good for us. 
Uh, non-aggression pact with uh, Kiev right now. I'm not opposed to that for right now. I You do control land, I'm going to need to control at some point. But at the moment, you guys are working with me, which is good. Um, seems like you guys are pushing back the guys that you took that city from. Um, I would kind of love, honestly, if you lost that territory, Kiev, so I could take it. Otherwise, I'll probably keep focusing my attention on Lithuania right now. Which, actually, speaking of the devils, uh, looks like you guys uh, are re-sieging them. I'm kind of hoping you win that. Come on, the garrison shit. Please win that. Um, I want to make my way over there. I'm going to stop recruiting you for right now. Um, I think... Yeah, we can move for right now. I'll take a little bit of attrition, but that's okay. We'll recover it. But yeah, go right here. Go right there. We'll go back into Fortify Stance. And then we'll recover. And keep making my way down this way because i'm hoping you please win that i actually want you to win that fight so that way i can take it from you because i need to expand um i do need to check over here though um my son is now actually here he's ready i'm going to have it so uh fuck this guy you're an ass you are a disloyal asshole you are not going to get any sort of uh, uh pro proper uh places in the gover government so i'm going to put you here uh then i'm going to also have it so let's have my son seek a wife and then after that I am going to try and put him in as a provost as well, and I'm going to really try and rank up my son, get some nepotism up in this shit here, because fuck this guy. I will try and see now, though. So I've got 45 here. Um, I do still want to try and keep you at some point right now. You're not going to be the worst statesman. Like, eventually I want to use you. I just need to get my loyalty, you get your loyalty up be by getting more influence than you. So I will try and have it so... I could just assassinate him. Um, actually, I could diminish his popularity. Yes. Oh, I don't know enough. It costs 30. Why, why can't you? Well, while it's in transit. Okay, so next turn I could. <sighs> Sicily, I'm not giving you a peace treaty if by paying you. You declared war on me for no fucking reason. I'm going to actually talk to you again next turn, and I'm going to see if you'll give me money for a ceasefire. Because you guys attacked me for no reason, declared war for no reason. I'm not, not, no, I'm not dealing with this shit. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you guys. If anything, you need to give me money. So it's like you guys didn't take the city. But you're still sieging it. Um, yes. Ooh, yeah, research too. Hell, that's a good way for you. Perfect. Let's see, that guy's ready for duty. Um, but now, um, you need to be you need to be 18. So once you're 18, I can then try and have you get that rank up there. My dominion should now start improving. I actually think I should have you gather support because my control is really low right now. So let's have you gather support. You can do that. I'm going to try and save my points because I need to have the most influence here. And then I would say... Ready for battle. I want to wait until I see if you actually do or do not take this territory. Because for right now, if Lithuania decides to come back this way, I like see them moving. I'm going to have to move over here once again. So for right now, I have to stay here. Riga is going to continue developing. My son is going to have to improve himself so he's a better governor. Um, but public order wise should be okay, I think. Especially since this area is about to grow, I will then be able to finally build something. Did you guys? No, oh, they're dead. <sighs> okay, so that means I'm not going to be able to take that territory. Uh, I'll wait until next turn. Um, I'm going to move back over. That means we do have to focus on to Lithuania. We got enemies in high places. Um, I will allow you to yeah, do whatever it takes. You have plenty of uh, influence right now for yourself for that. That'll get us a little bit more balance of power, which is good. And then we were able to... Wait, survive until... Okay, we survived that date. Perfect. Uh, but hey, I... Oh, no, fuck. Really? Fucking really? I'm one point off. One point off. Okay, next turn I can grow it. Let's see. So, we have a population surplus finally around here. So, now let's get that. So, I'm thinking... Let's see, city square... I do need to get some more sanitation at some point. Woodcutter... I will need that at some point. Just to get the resource, because that will be better for our trade. I think we'll probably be going with the city square. I would like to possibly... I don't have enough food around here for that, now at the moment. So the thing we're going to have to get, actually, instead for right now, is just going to be this. We'll get the baker. Gives the sanitation, public order, and then income from industry. And then agricultural and animal, animal husbandry buildings. So that will give us a little bit more money. So I think that's not a bad idea. That will give us a little bit more cash. And... I would like to get some more growth here. Let's see. So, a pretender to the throne. Interesting. The Kingdom of France is now the ruler of the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, you got labor and loyalty. Fuck you. I don't care. Um, 
as we got some more political support. Beautiful. Because I need to get up here. We are currently in balance, just barely, because I want that loyalty boost. And then for right now, I can now try and put my son in here. So I'm going to put him into this area. That way he's going to now also be of that rank, hopefully. And he can start proving himself and improving his uh, skills. I am going to now have it so he can. Let's move over here. Because again, we're going to start trying to make my way over to Lithuania. At the moment, I don't see much going on around there. I might start raiding the area to try and get some more money. I don't have a lot going on for me right now. Let's see, costs. Let's see. Uh, how much movement range do I need for that? I don't know, but we'll just stay in Fortify Saints at least. Alright, so next turn at least, like, once we don't have any more, uh, winter, I'll start making my way over here. I would love to get a scout. So you were able to get that, uh, position. Beautiful. Public order-wise, you'll be fine once I get this. And if anything, oh, I'm gonna finally make a little bit more money once we have that. Alright, now how much money can I get if I start raiding this area? Because for right now, let's see, so I need 50% of my movement to be able to do that. So let's go out of this. Go into the territory, and then let's just start raiding a bit around here. Oh my god, I can get so much more money. Oh yes, let's do that. So we're going to start gathering quite a bit of cash there. And then that will allow me to try and maybe develop a little bit more of my stuff. Or at least get enough of a stockpile that I can actually gather enough troops that I could feel comfortable pushing in there. I do think... Where is he? Hello, Widow. widow. Um, let's have you uh, raise an army here. Because I have enough money at the moment. Uh, go fucking scout for me, you asshole. <laughs> You're gonna go figure out what they've got over there, and what I'm gonna need. And maybe you'll be the one that recruits for me once we figure out what's going on. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah, public order, plus 5%. Plus 5 for the local province? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, so Riga will now be pretty happy around here. And I need at least... How much does that cost for me? Let's see, so... Cost 4,500. Technically, it's not a bit that bad to keep the thing as it is right now, although... I probably do need, I do need sanitation. Okay, I am going to have to keep switching back and forth, though, because once we go back in here, we'll go back into Fortified Stance. I barely make enough money right now, but that's okay. So let's have you then... Uh, are you not going to take a treasure right now? Oh, that's nice. I'll still put you up here just in case. Because we'll send you forward. I'm going to have this guy go scout. Uh, who had an illegitimate birth right now? Oh, you're just not taking any attrition at all right now. Yeah, I'm just going to move you forward. Fuck it. Um, that is for my son. Guys, stop. Please. And then how long do you have to be in here to be able to be in this rank? I need to be 24 and required rank 3. Okay. Because once I can, I'm putting you in there as soon as possible. Gotta love that literally most of my family tree right now is illegitimate kids at the moment. Alrighty, so we'll keep raiding back here. So we're going to keep raiding around this area. And then you... Let's see. I need to get just barely close enough. And I don't care if you die. I just need to see like what's going on. Because if there's no force around here... So there is a small army. Garrison-wise, it's not that crazy. I don't know where their other force is. Um, I am going to move a little bit closer. Keep raiding. And then basically, are there mercenaries around here? There are no mercenaries at the moment, so I'd have to win with what I have. So as long as it's just this. So three units there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's ten units there. That's 13. Okay, so it's close. I should probably go get some more units. So I'm going to have you pull back. I'm going to try and have you recruit a little bit for us. And then you'll kind of be the one that, if anything, maybe we can try and lure them out of the city. Maybe. What the hell is this? Why is it thinking that we have such a great chance against this? And also, you look like an infantry unit. I'm going to take the otters off. Like, what the hell is with this? Because I don't care if you die or not, but I'm like wondering, like, why is it giving you such an amazing chance there? You're one cav unit. And for some reason, is showcasing you as, like, an infantry unit. Weird. Yeah, take the money. Yeah, so they lured out of the city there. I actually might be able to do something. Using, uh... You as bait. I might be able to lure them out of the entire city. Because then I can have it so that we just move on up. Is it going to be the winter now? Because we maybe don't need more reinforcements if I can get them to the open field. If I can get them to the open field, I don't. Because I have the cab advantage. Also, I lost my wife, too. God damn it. Okay. Fuck. I want to sit here a turn. But I also want to try and see if I can lure them out right now. Because I need to. So I'm going to try and move you forward. 
because I'm, I'm worried they have another army somewhere. So let's have you go here, and then go into fortify stance. Technically, I think I'm going to lose troops from moving forward. I have to. A little bit of attrition is okay if it guarantees that I get to lure them out this turn. Yeah, because that's a little bit more damage than I like. are there any fort There's no mercenaries around here either. So if I lure them out and it's just this army and the force is right there, that's fine. But if they have another army, I'm fucked. Oh, you fuckers. No, I am not giving you a ceasefire. I need to take your city. I need another region. And Kiev is now nearby. Ooh. Can I convince you guys to help me with the siege? If I can do that, I can win the battle without blood on my end. And I'll get the settlement stone. If they will join in. Because I know I've done this before where I've been able to convince a uh, uh, force to attack and somebody as well with me. Question is, is Keith going to take the bait? See, so I was trying to get a new wife. Sadly, I was rejected. I don't know why. Um, so we need to try and keep getting another wife. Keep doing that. Um, peace negotiated. They failed the crusade. Your lo loyalty is wavering. Yep, I don't give a shit about that. Um, but no, let's see. Are they in range of it? They are. Fucking beautiful. So, we are going to attack this. I am going to let Keeb do all of the work. Because I'm probably going to have to fight them anyways at some point after this. So I'm going to let them be the ones that do all the work to take this city, and then I get the benefits. That is exactly what I need right now, because, oh my god, I need a second city so goddamn badly. And Kiev is already stronger than me. They have three regions right now. If they took this territory, I would be fucked. Because I have no expansion paths besides pushing into them, and I only have my one army. I cannot even field a full stack army. So we're going to do this. We're going we're gonna to hopefully be able to convince them to walk all the way in. I do have to, I probably have to actually use my siege equipment um, to get them to actually try and uh, go forward. We'll see. If Kiev is going to be aggressive on their own without me having to tell them to be, then okay. Um, but I'm probably going to have to have it so that, like, for right now, you're, you're a cab unit. My reinforcements are way the fuck over there. My allies are here. Okay, if you guys can just pick up the ladders on your own without me having to do anything, then that's perfect. But uh, let's start a moment. Listen to my uh, general speech as uh, we wait for reinforcements. Let's go. Now, the question is just going to be, uh, what the hell happens with you guys? Are you guys going to pick up my siege equipment and use it? Because you might. Let's see. It looks like you guys are... Or are you just going straight towards the gate? It's hard to tell, but you guys do seem to be doing something. I can at least have my army um, slowly make our way over here. Uh, they do have a catapult right there. This one doesn't, so I think we'll try and like casually walk over this way. Let's see, where's the... Okay, so if, we, if we casually walk over here... With my force. I can try and assault this area. I, I can try and actually help. Um, and I'm just going to hope that... Like, I'm hoping you guys pick up my siege equipment. If you guys can pick up my siege equipment, that'd be perfect. Because again, I want you to use up all of your men. I would prefer to have taken no casualties for this entire city. It is beautiful to watch the forces of Kiev watch forward. They are still making their way forward. So it does seem like they are going to be on the offensive without me having to tell them to do anything. They've got this entire army... Which I think they can use my siege equipment. If anything at all, I know they'll be able to at least burn down the gates if they really want to. But let's see. If you guys pick this up, that'd be amazing. Come on. Pick up my siege equipment. Use it. I don't think you guys can. At the moment nobody's picking it up. No, you are just walking right on past it. Okay. But you are attacking the city. That's what matters. So, you guys... Put all of your attention over here. I will slowly, very slowly, get into position. And uh, I will assault from this side. And if you guys have taken the city before, then awesome. If not, okay, I'll have to do something then. So far, 
They've been doing some pretty good damage over here with their skirmishers. Uh, the enemy's lost 20 guys. <laughs> We've technically lost 60. Uh, I'm not okay opposed to that. Again, I don't care how many men Keith loses. Not for this fight, at least. I, I want you guys to take damage because I'm probably going to have to be fighting you guys relatively soon after this, or maybe, like, directly after this fight. Maybe. Hopefully not. I'm hoping I can get, like, a full stack army at least before I have to start fighting you guys. Otherwise, I just don't know where I'm going to expand to. Like, if you guys... Th th this will open up some fronts a little bit, at least. But uh, not nearly as much as I'm going to. They've actually killed the enemy general. Hell yeah. Uh, they're not even advancing forward right now, though, so that's fine. Uh, but they, they've taken him out. Uh, they've killed about 150 guys so far. Uh, I am still slowly making my way forward here. Basically, what we'll be doing is I'm trying to get my crossbows and infantry around here. Cav, I'll be trying to have you guys try and break down the gates. Oh, the gates are technically open. I wonder if you guys would be able to just, like, put the gun in. I'll try and get you over here now. I'll kind of back up away from the walls for a second, because I know there's archers there. So yeah, ignore those archers for a second. Kind of just, like, go over here. I'll stay back here for right now. And I need to get my crossbows in range to try and shoot these guys, if possible. I'll have you guys start running up now. I just want to try and not tire you guys out. So we'll get over here, try and hit these uh, Ruthian Arches. These guys currently have their backs turned for the most part towards us. So if my crossbows can get over here and start firing into you guys. Almost be able to hit them there. Almost. I guess I'm just a little bit... Oh, actually, what can you shoot? You can hit... Oh, you can hit those javelins. Okay. But yeah, still, just get a little bit closer. I would prefer you hit the archers. Let's just get you guys there. Number one, let's see. So they've now lost about 200 guys. Oh, now they're moving in. And yeah, there you go. Yeah, start moving on in. I'll casually kind of push on in here a little bit more with my troops. I am now in range of the tower. Crossbows. Are you firing? Should be hitting those archers. And yeah, now you're firing. There you go. Yeah, start unloading into these guys. Basically kind of draw their attention away from us, so that like once we kill those guys, we can then make my way through try and break the gates. Okay, they've lost about half their army now at this point. Uh, my skirmishers have almost finished off these uh, archers, trying to deal with the javelins a little bit now as well, because those guys can do a lot of damage to my cow, so I'm trying to avoid that. Uh, they are... Excuse me, we've been able to take out about almost half their army, but they are starting to turn more men over towards me now, which is not exactly what I want. Are you guys being able to break the gates down over here? Technically, no. Okay, so what we'll do is, if I have to, I will bring my infantry over to try and hit that spot. If anything, I'll, let me try and have... I don't give a shit about you. You go break the gates down. <laughs> you try and break the gates down. If you're going to be shot at, that's fine. Uh, but we'll have you do is that. Uh, my archers keep trying to focus on... Dude, get, get up here. And I want you to just actually just straight up die. I want you to try and actually destroy it. Nope. Yeah, he was an asshole anyways. Uh, let's see, because right now, I'm just not doing as much damage as I need to over here. I really do need rid of those javelins. I I'll try and send my infantry over here so I can pick up the ladders since my allies can't use them. Or, I don't even have them. Oh, they actually have been using my ladders. They just fucking suck at using them. <laughs> God damn it, guys. Okay, well, I'm still going to bring my infantry over here. Because for right now, I'm still just having my javelins try and see if they can break down these guys. Gates are a little fucked up too, so I might have to have it so that maybe... I'd like to focus their attention over here, but I'll probably have to go over and actually help out where uh, Kiev is trying to attack as well. Because right now, like, if they can get the gates down, we can make my way in here. I just need to get them some avenue into the city. Oh, they got somebody inside. Okay, they're pulling their forces away from this section. Uh, they don't have much left. They've got 300 guys left. I'm going to try and see if I can now break down this game. Because uh, they don't have as many men over here now. They pulled back a little bit. They were using my siege equipment a little bit there. Uh, my guys have now almost now picked up the ladders. So now I will try and make my way over here to help out. Because you guys are idiots and don't know how to apply all your pressure at once. So you're just losing a lot of men. So start trying to move on up. You're still taking a lot of the damage for me, at least. Gates. We are capturing the gates now and breaking them, at least, in some regard. So, either open the gates up or get just destroy that, and then I can start running in with my cavalry. So I prefer to try and avoid... Actually, I'm going to hold back on using you guys. I don't have to yet. But yeah, just stay back here. 
Because if I can get my cav in, that's actually a way better thing for me right now than trying to get my infantry in. Which you guys are about to take this section any any moment. Because then I can just go beeline the capture point, which I wish this guy was just trying to capture it, and then we just win that way. Alrighty, we're finally in. Hell yeah. So, let's get my cav in. I'll start trying to run you guys down, try and destroy these skirmishes. And let's just beeline straight for the city center. I see no reason to try and stay over here, so let's run on up this way. Go capture this point, and then we just need to hold it for the duration, and we'll win. And, if anything at all, this worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Where Kiev took most of the damage. I've taken, like, nothing. Besides my one asshole general being killed. <laughs> but that's what he gets for being a traitor son of a bitch. You see the Jones bodyguard around here, though, so I at least have to kill him before I can take the point. So let's get my cap to run on in here. All of you against him should win that. And then we should start capturing the victory point. Yeah, so all of you get in there, I'll have uh, this guy try and take out the tower. Ducal Dren, General's Bodyguard, is slowly dying. Let's see, you got your my guys here. Keep at it, guys. Man, this is gonna be a fun campaign now that I think about it. We have such a harsh fucking start. We really do. And I thought the Byzantine campaign was gonna be a tough start. No, this is even fucking worse than that. Because, like, hey, this is the... It took me this entire video to take one city. <laughs> God, I, I, it should speed up over time, I would assume. There we go, victory points down to my command. Now, I feel like we're, we're probably going to take it before we kill the general. He's slowly dying. Slowly but surely, he's being taken out. Kiev is throwing more of their troops at the walls right now. They just using a bloody massacre over here. Because you guys have just been throwing everything at them. I should maybe just drop the ladders again, because you guys might pick them back up and use them and throw more men away. Alrighty. We've taken the fucking city. Oh god. Yeah, I lost only 48 guys. Perfect. Thanks, Keith. Thank thanks for that. I, I needed that. Yeah, Widow Bribra's dead, but he was a traitorous bastard, so we wanted to get him killed anyways. So now we will be able to walk on in uh to the city. Technically. Even though the the general leading the fight did die. That's fine. He's dead. Like, no damage on my other army. Beautiful. So we're going to then occupy this region. We hunger for and... You survived! I saw you got shot to hell with crossbows. How did you live? What? Okay. Okay. We have Vilnius, though. This is mine. But uh, I'm, gonna be, I'm being done for today. Because, oh god, this is a... Uh... This is a lot for one city. And, uh, O'Keefe okay, controls that too. Fuck, I literally do just border them. I might have to, like, fight them after this. I'm gonna hope not. I'm gonna hope they fight somebody else. Like, the Mongols are fucking about, so hopefully they do. That'd be nice if they did. It's like... Okay, let's just, yeah, they, they die. You should be dead! Why didn't you die to the crossbows? But, I will be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts happen in general? This is Rampand, and I'll see you guys next time.